And then when you're wrong, you turn away. Why are you taking two? Because I got to fool my mother. You also can't just reject. Yeah, right. You can't just be like, yeah, I, I don't believe it. Yeah, you know, I don't believe it, therefore it's not true. Well, if it's, if it's substantially... You reach the edge of the earth. Then it's true. But what happens? Do you I don't just, know. Like, can, you, can you not go past it? Is, I is don't it like know. A, is an invisible wall? I don't know. How many people have gotten killed going there? To the edge of the earth? Very few. No one Antarctic explorers? Oh, she froze to death. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Thousands of miles away from I think they were killed. Primitive technology and sub-zero temperatures. What is the curvature of the Earth? That's what they say. That's what they say. I don't believe it. Thousands of miles away from Earth. Primitive technology. What now? You have a What do you? Look up the evidence, girls. Don't just laugh it off. You got to look it up. Okay, I definitely will. Thank you. You're welcome. Look this up yourself. Come on. Look it up yourself. Look it up yourself. You can look it up yourself. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. They do. They shoot you. And they ask questions later. Yeah, and you know what? We can find out the answers if we're allowed to go there. But you go to Antarctica, that you pay thousands of dollars, they hold your hand and walk you around. They don't let you go anywhere on, on your own. Why does this matter? You got to know that. Not personally. How do you know? Look this. Look this. That's the premise of great. Okay, argument. that's fine. So you've been to Antarctica. Okay, you know? because I know that that's what it requires. Yeah. That you pay thousands of dollars. Yeah. They lead you to a but fake how do you know? South Pole. How do you know? They admit have it. Have you been there? They admit have it's you fake. Seen it with your own two eyes. No. <laughs> Right, there you go. What do you think? What do you think okay, edge, you rest your case. a couple different theories. What do you think at the edge of the earth? The edge. I only teach to Antarctica, which is this. That's only the farther I go. Some people say that it's an infinite plane. Some people say that's the, where the dome ends. You know, I kind of like that idea. My other teacher that I had a shot, he was, uh, he was, he wasn't a flat earther yet, as he claims, but he does a lot of research in flat earth, and he said that the thing there that he found was the people who got to the edge found this giant ice wall, and they just kept going and going and going, and they never find any, because that's what he, that's what he said. Awesome. That's what he said he found. Showed this is a growing movement. We are, there's a lot of people getting on board with this. He also, he also gives us the uh, curvature formula. If we're not yeah. see past the wall, did it come up with that? What, what, what is that? What is that? You can look it up yourself, everybody. Here's a card. You can look it up. Look it up. So the other planet's flat as well? I don't know. All you see, all you see is a flat two-dimensional disc, um, flat two-dimensional surface. You don't see three dimensions in a telescope. So we don't know that. But you only see two dimensions with your eyes. Why does this really upset you this much? Why are you really? Because you know I'm a man of fact, and I stand on principles. And when yeah. you crush my principles, it offends me and it, it hurts my feelings. Oh, I'm sorry. So when you come in here and you spew these false notions, I just, I can't stand it. Yeah, them. well, these are not false. Whatever you see here on the well, banners you know is what? not false. They're not provably false. And that's, whatever and you see, you whatever have. you're spewing out is that you fa something have. you found in a textbook that you didn't prove yourself either. From logic. Oh, your so you're good, you can say that your facts are just because you're logical. But I can't say my facts are because I'm logical. See, but when you ask me a question, do I have an answer? I do, right? When, yeah, when, because when you say you lava question, comes from the center of the earth that right. you can't prove. Would you like to look it well, up? you think it's from pipes. So wait, where does magma, where does lava, lava tubes come from? Lava, okay, lava so tubes? Lava stored where they I don't know, I got a guy in, in Hawaii. Know. I got a guy in Hawaii who uh, says they come from tubes. So right. Okay, but where are the tubes located? Have you seen Underneath the, tubes? the ground. Yeah, but not the center of the Earth, four thousand miles deep. How do you know that? How do you know they are? Because you can't dig down there. You only go eight miles deep. It's the deepest hole we ever dug. So, pardon? I used to work in landscaping, so I've dug a lot of deep holes. So I owned a landscaping business.
they how, do you, how do you know that the earth is any deeper than how far you dug? Well, because they say they d dug a hole eight feet, eight miles deep. Eight miles deep. No. What makes you think it was real? Well, I'm not preaching deep holes here today. What I'm teaching is the surface. And I can see that the surface is flat. The surface is flat. Like that water bottle, the water is always flat on the surface. That's what I'm telling people today. Thank you. Ocean City, New Jersey. We go down there three times a year. And when you're in Wildwood, you can see Atlantic City, 32.6 miles away. There's no curvature in between it. It should be 681 feet. All right. When she asks you questions, you back it up, right. right? And you you entertain the point. Right. When you ask her questions, she just says, "I reject that." Mm -hmm. Right. So who who who's stronger <coughs> argumentatively? You. But this is not a debate. What is it then? What well, is it? Yeah. You, this is you, not you a debate. What is it? No. No, because what would, call, what would you call this? You don't even allow we're, me to answer. We're speaking here, right? We have been allowing you to answer. No, you, ask you, a question, you just right? keep well, interrupting. Let me ask you a question. All right, what benefit is there to covering up the shape of the earth? <coughs> Did you have one of my cards? Let's control right. yourself. Okay, so right here. For what? The kings did not want the serfs to read, so it says, "Where's." What's the difference between being educated with lies? You have to listen first. Being educated with lies or being uneducated. Okay? If they if they are teaching us a lie, then we are just uneducated because it's not true. How do you know it's a lie? Then then they can control us by telling us any lies and we will do what they say and believe them. And I do not believe them and their lies. Do you understand? So if you want to be safe and not go off and have your children killed in foreign wars, then, then you will question, you will question the government. You will say there are no weapons of mass destruction. So we are not going over there. We will stand against a tyrannical government. I mean, I hate Trump too, but I don't think that's the At least he keeps his campaign promises. People don't agree with his campaign promises, but he keeps them. What's she saying? This is the most honest I've seen a president be in. Really? You dress like that and you say this is a joke? You got angry at me. You got angry at me. You believe in gravity? Serious question. Um, I say that things fall, there is a rate of fall, that's evident, but I don't think we're being pulled to the center of a spinning ball. I believe that we are being pushed down by diamagnetism. Excuse me, did you say that you don't believe what, I, what I'm saying because I look, look at this? stupid? No, I did not say that. You, you said that, he, he, when I asked you if this was funny, he, he, you asked if uh, I if you should believe me because my clothes look funny. I said you dress like that and you think this is a joke. Obviously, people are that stupid. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've researched this and you did not. Me, uh, how can how can you even go to school and still believe the earth is flat? You don't know the mass of the earth. You cannot prove the mass of the Earth. I was actually more agreeing with you, just that your point is invalid because magnetism has no effect on it. It's the magnetism's effect on mass and buoyancy to take on the effect of gravity. That's how they disprove gravity, not magnetism alone, because magnetism just acts as the return. I was just giving another explanation for a force that could be holding us down, what down the force down is. <laughs> Yeah, That's what I was just giving an alternative for that. I wasn't trying to disprove gravity. Although I can disprove it by saying the Bonneville salt flats. Because the Bonneville salt flats were created by a salt lake. There's no curvature in the salt lake because it's not reflected in the base that dried up. Right. Thank you. Did you get one of these? I did not. You may have one. So you believe that objects fall to the center of mass? I don't have any evidence of that. Okay. 
Well, we, can we, um, we can observe that with stars. But, and they're ro the, the planets are rotating around the stars because they are falling to the star at the same rate that it is flying away, and that's what a rotation is. And we can, we can see like asteroids and meteors being pulled into stars. We've seen things fly into black holes because they have more mass than those objects. And you know, I'm going to give you an answer for that. What? I'm going to say that it's computer-generated images. Most of what you're talking about, like the black holes and all of that, I've seen black holes in magnetic experiments, magnetism, but not in, not in the dome or the sphere or anything like that. So I don't think what you're, you're seeing, anything put out by NASA is false. Anything put by NASA is false. They are just propagating their, justifying their 20, 52 million, $52 million a day they get. Well, what if they have to come investment? up with something that sounds extraordinary. Well, what if I could tell you that these studies are also done by universities, privately owned universities, not just government funded entities? Well, NASA's not government controlled. Well, I'm telling you that if you're high up in the edge of space, I did not. Do not say that. I did not say that. Yes, you did. No, I did not say. You were stupid. I, I asked you what the joke was with this, and you said that I look silly and my, that I'm stupid for not believing. I did not battle. say you were stupid. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you're, you did. You're feeling that way, and I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I yes, did not you say did. you were stupid. You did. Other people So fifty-two you. million dollars a day NASA gets. They have to come up. <laughs> with something that sounds extraordinary or they can't justify that money but 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 universities that have observatories they they can include the same thing. all they can see is a they don't let you on there and all they can see is a two-dimensional object they cannot see 3d that's because and you know what else Pictures on 2D. And when you think about it, the way that our eyes work, we're just putting two 2D images right next to each other and assuming that's how Well, that you works. can see depth uh, and shadows, I mean, light some shadows. Are the unfortunate condition of not really being able to see it. That's true. Some people are not. It really hurts with driving, not going to lie. <laughs> but um, honestly, just, well, just one question, though. You said that um, if you get too close to the edge of the earth, nobody knows what happens. They just kill you off. You know too much, right? <laughs> okay. So if that's the case, then why doesn't the government just cut out the middleman and try to shut down the Flat Earth Society? Well, Flat Earth Society is a government-run organization, and they put out false information. I am not here with any organization. I'm just here on my own. These are my banners, and I just do this myself. Because, like, dot-com domains are run on the top level by the government, so they're letting you keep your domains for your website and stuff. Wouldn't Actually, this is not my website, but it is somebody I know. Oh. Wouldn't they be trying to shut down the truth, though? Well, <coughs> it might be. Uh, it, like it might be too late. Or? Actually, it might be too late. They were already. Uh, they're talking about collapsing the economy next year. I mean, yeah, but that's. So, but as long as your uh, servers are. You shut do off, know. You, your current month's you do out. know that the uh, that the uh, stock market crashes were all orchestrated. You do know that. Oh, they're sort of they social. were done on purpose. And people were jumping out of windows. People were jumping out of windows because of the government purposefully crashing the stock market. You're jumping out of windows because you're depressed because you didn't have any money. Because the stock market the stock market crashed. Yeah, and they couldn't provide for the And the government did it on purpose. A lot of the arguments with this would be they just it takes a lot flip more the switch. That, uh, they just flip the switch. It's not real. The stock market is not real. It's not based on no. It's not based on a supply and demand real economy. It's not based on that. All those numbers. You you watch the gas prices. When I was young, it was 17 cents a gallon. That's because of the Do you know? And then you know how they got it to go up. They said we're running low on oil. It's a limited resource. Yeah, they now to we are too. finding out that oil is a renewable <laughs> resource, and there is no, no limit. No, no, no. Um, no. I mean, if we're you only finding more ways technical. to extract. Yeah. No. I mean, it technically is a renewable resource, but it takes yeah, hundreds of millions of years. No, millions of that's years. how they're selling you fracking, so they can screw up our water that's, supply. That's not the same as That's, how they turn the that's not the same as yeah, totally yeah. fracking. Is a totally they get natural gas from fracking. 
Stop saying that. That's not true. That's not true. Oh my gosh. No, I did not say. Every time I confront you about it, you call me a liar. I said that's not true. You said that I am stupid for saying that anyone would be saying that. I can't believe anyone is foolish enough to believe that. This is mine. Yeah, and, and you, I said that I can't be, that no, I am not, you that said I cannot when, believe that anyone is foolish enough to believe that. And you said that I am stupid and ugly. Oh, now you're adding ugly into it. I heard you. No, you did not. Yes, you did. You're mocking me, and I don't want you to do I this. I don't want you to say that I look ugly. You said I look stupid. You have to handle this because I am protected under free speech. So please come over and handle this. Please come handle this. I am not stupid. I do not look stupid. <laughs> Uh, that aside, uh, this has been a pretty uh, interesting experience. It's not something I get to experience every day, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I've been, this is the fourth community college I've been to. I've also been to Temple and Penn State. Oh. Making the rounds. Let's say, uh, do you mind if I take a picture just real fast? The, Go right uh, ahead. You're welcome. I, I just hope you guys, you know, check out the videos that are here. And that's, you'll find, it's 200 proofs. That's the name of the video. Yeah. Whenever I hear something under proof, I always think of alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, yeah, 200 proof. Well, this is a whopper. Just burn your this, this will put you into a... It will get you going, because I'm telling you, it, it takes, like... Uh, for three months, you're still questioning yourself. Is this true? And you know, I still look for curvature everywhere I go, and I'm so happy that I'm not finding it anywhere. Any opportunity. And uh, we have these cameras called the P1000 now, and it can zoom in like 85 miles, and it's awesome. Uh, we have done so many experiments with it, and but look at—I mean, this is reality. You get the line on the water. That's what you get on a flat surface. It's not just a spot. Question, how large is the sun? How large is the sun? Some people say it's 23 miles across. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends on how close it really is, and we can't really figure that out. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Why can't we figure it out? Well, something, maybe something that's a project that you should do. The government has all the space money. No, so no maybe you should there. figure that out. There's ways to do it. You can look this up. <laughs> yeah, there's ways to figure it out. I just haven't... Uh, do you have one of these? Uh, I'm good. Okay. But I'll take his if you want. Stop it. You already have two. No, no. I, I saw somebody. They were they were in need, but you were busy. So oh, I figured I would just take some it. I gave them one. Yeah, stop I it. I got one now. So anyway... I don't think I'm going to last another class. Thank you for handling that. I'm sorry she was upset. Weren't, didn't you take her in? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask a question that I always wanted to ask somebody, like with flat Earth, like a totally like serious, legit question. Good. So like I heard that like the Greeks thought the Earth was round because when a ship sails away into a horizon, it sinks down, which is the ship going into the Earth's curvature, and it like goes down. And it looks like it's almost sinking. How do you guys like explain that? Okay, it's it's perspective. It disappears, and then well, there's. Well, it, it, it before it disappears, it goes down. Like if you looked at like a time yeah. lapse of a ship, it goes yeah. down. There's something called angular resolution, okay. at where it it starts to uh, get near the end, where near the vanishing point, it gets like everything gets mirrored, and it's like uh, it all blends into one and you can't really see it. 
But if you zoom in on that ship, you can bring it right back into focus. It's really not below. There's When it gets mirrored on the water and whatnot, then it reflects the sky and you can't really tell where it is. So it looks like it's going behind something when it's really just being occluded by that mirroring effect. That's yeah. what it is. We just always wanted to ask that to yeah. somebody. If you look up Flat Earth and then on YouTube, type in Flat Earth first and then you'll get a whole bunch of other videos that you won't access through any other means. Okay, uh, YouTube will eliminate you from looking at those things. So type in Flat Earth first and then you'll get a whole different set of videos. Okay, and then you can see, we have some excellent footage. I'm sorry she's upset, but I... So... How do you um, explain change in seasons? The sun is really close. So when it's up here in, in the Cancer, Tropic of Cancer, it really puts the direct light on us. And this is when you get the 24-hour sun in Alaska. Wait, wait, if the sun's in the Tropic of Cancer, why is that not the hottest spot in the Earth and not the equator? It is. At the time, see now, here you have, the equator gets the sun all the time. Okay. So there's going to be things there that absorb the heat. So it's going to stay hot, stay hot, stay hot. Uh, whereas up here, it was cold. You have cold water, which kind of offsets the heat a little. Where down here, it's hot, hot, hot all the time. Okay. So that's... When you go down here, you go on vacation, the water is warmer. Yeah. So it has nothing to offset with. And then uh, it just travels around a circle. And then it slowly moves down to the equator. Okay. Then it slowly moves out to Capricorn. And when it gets to Capricorn, it's much larger than on the globe. On the globe, Cancer and Capricorn are the same size. But on the flat Earth model, it's much bigger, and the sun has to move faster. And it does. The, the sun's movements outside of the equator are different than they are up here. You have to research that. What about like the moon landing? There was no moon landing. We did not land on the moon. <coughs> what? Yeah, it was a Hollywood production. Why do you think that? Because the Earth's flat? <sighs> well, you, we have videos. The moon landing was real before or after you we have a lot of uh, for, forensic think. evidence on like the pictures that the shadows are different and well, so the shadows all that are different stuff. There's a lot of stuff to it. If you start looking, the moon landing is a whole thing to explore mm. yourself. I mean, there's a lot to that moon landing that you can tear it apart. You're not good unless you know the Earth is flat. Sorry, I don't believe that. I don't believe the Earth is flat. I know it. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the, the shadows. I like that you brought that up. Yeah. So with um, with the shadows that were in the pictures, they were straight. That like if like the astronaut was standing here, when you have like a light source close by, they would diverge, like you were talking about earlier. So they wouldn't be straight like that. You can only get straight light like that, straight shadows, when it's either a light source that's miles, millions of miles away, or when it's lasers. And at the time that they filmed, you know, the moon landing, lasers could only be found in red, which would have made everything look red. Or they, and, and do they you think? Really do you think the government releases technology the minute they find out? Well, that's the other thing is that like. You know, Russia intercepted the uh, the moon landing, and why would they lie about us getting to the moon before them? Why would they want us to beat them? And nah. they were just hundreds they, of they thousands are lying. Of, they're playing games with us. Right. They play games all well, the time. There were with just us. hundreds of thousands of people working on the moon landing project in NASA. Why? How would they get them all to lie? You know, they don't have everybody on board with this. Sometimes. People, this one woman we have just interviewed her, she worked for NASA and security for 13 years and she knew something was up because uh, she had the moon rocks in a little box in her, in her office. What are these doing here? You know, so they, they know something's up but they can't prove it all and they don't ask questions because they're getting paid the money. And then some of them are like, oh, I like my cushy job, I feel important. You know, there's a whole lot of different reasons why people would not question it. Yeah. 
okay? Right. But there's the top dogs, they know. But the ones who are down below, they don't ask questions. Right. And there's compartmentalization. Uh, compartmentalization. Here we go. Compartmentalization, where, the, you know, uh, I'm working on a project and I can't tell you or I'd have to kill you. I knew a guy who worked for Lock Lockheed Martin. Oh, yeah, I'm working on a weapon system, but if I tell you where it is, got to kill you. You know, he joke about it. What's that about? So the shadows, I can't answer every question you got, and I'm sorry. No, 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 no worries. And I just had one more question uh, with... I guess you don't really care about the moon landing stuff. That's a whole different. Well, That's I did look thing. into it enough to know that it okay. didn't happen. Right. So. Okay. Why would what? the government be so protective of the edge of the Earth? Just wondering. Like, well, first off, it proves that it's not a globe. Okay. Okay. Second off, they are doing something down there. Hmm. Now, John Kerry, I read in a newspaper article. Okay that he went down there and flew 300 miles in from the edge of Antarctica. Okay. So why would he go down there? And why would he fly in there from that? And then uh, they're having religious ceremonies down there. Religious ceremonies? Yes. What religion? I don't know. But I don't know. But the guys, it, I think it has, it's like Roman Catholic or something because they have the fish hats on. Okay. The hats that lurk, they're pointed, but there's like a, an opening, like a fish mouth on top of their head. That's, that's what they are wearing. So it's some, something like that. But they're doing that. Why are they doing that down there? They don't tell us those things. They don't tell us a lot of stuff. So you have to figure this out. Look into it and figure it out. I think I'm going to head pack up, guys, because I'm, I'm getting cold. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. I, I appreciate you coming out and uh, asking questions. I think it's awesome that you're looking into it then. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so why do you think gravity is false? And how are we here? Well, gravity, gravity is the big G. They, that, like, solves a lot of their problems. They can just say, oh, gravity gravity and we kind of like think that's a big joke in the flat earth community we say oh yeah you can't answer a question you just say gravity and that answers the question when it really doesn't answer the question so it's just like a made-up thing and you can't prove it so they just say that's the answer because you can't prove it go ahead how do things what I call it, I think it's diamagnetism. That's what. Um, it's a downward force produced by the toroidal electromagnetic field, which I think that we are inside. I think we're inside a toroidal field. And that's my personal belief, and we have people looking into that. Well, because it's a different thing. It's a totally different thing. Yeah. Yes. It comes up out of the North Pole. It's a desert donut with a hole in the middle. No, I know what the Okay, comes up out of the North Pole. You get the Aurora Borealis, comes up and around and goes down at Antarctica. Because I think it looks like a Taurus. Because that would explain the Aurora Borealis. It will also explain the flow of electricity. And, and would explain the sun being a filament. Yeah. Right? Well, did you get one of my cards? If you look this up, then you can see that. Well, yeah, I'm going to pack up because I'm cold. But, yeah. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a flat plane. We live on a flat surface. And uh, do you have any... You know what? On that card is the place where you can see all these pictures. Because it's on the 200 proofs. Okay? But... Um, Oh, golly.
Do you have a question? Like, because there's no curvature. That's a big deal. There's there's no curvature. We can't can't find it anywhere. A flat surface. Okay, flat I don't know what's underneath. Okay, yeah, that, that would be my question. Yeah, I don't know what's underneath. Yeah, I want that one. What? This is pretty nifty with a setup I got, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Quite clever. Yeah, it is. See, when I go, uh, when I go down to a, uh, a town, like my neighboring town, and they have like motorcycle night Are we where they're all. Right now? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Marilyn Spirit Levels, my channel. Do you have any, do you have, do you have any signs letting people know that they're on camera? No, this is a public place. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I walk up and down the streets with this. All right. This little setup here. Did you get a card? No, I did not. You like, would you sure. like one? Sure. Did you get one? Okay. Well, guys, I appreciate you being so nice and talking, and oh, yeah. I hope you really look into it. Yeah, thank you. Have yeah. Good day. Okay. Have good day. Thanks. I think we made it through, didn't we? All right. Oh, Have a good day. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay, so here's the uh, outcome of this. There was only one unfortunate incident with that girl who was uh, obviously not in control of her emotions. And that's a shame, but... So... I'm sorry, you're bouncing quite a bit here. It's cold again. Well, I hope I got this all. All right. Okay, so this is Bucks County Community College. I hope I got good fi film. I'm going to close it off now so you don't have to bounce the whole way down. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Okay, bye.